Artificial intelligence and robotics are two different fields. Robots are more, you know, the physical, mechanical instantiation of the technology, but there's some overlap in that, you know, we try and put artificial intelligence into robots, clearly, uh, and, and we will increasingly do so. There are some really great use cases popping up for robots as a tool for teachers to engage children because kids love robots that have eyes and faces and can, can really engage kids. One interesting use case is um, in working with autistic children where it's oftentimes difficult for an adult to engage the child. Robots can help with that because they turn out to be much more engaging than an adult and so they can facilitate um, the interaction with the adult. I don't think that they're going to be able to completely replace um, human ability anytime soon. But the ways that they'll disrupt education or labor markets generally really depends on how we decide to use them in those cases. And one of the things that I'm a little bit concerned about is I don't want us to start to try and replace human ability because in supplementing human ability through these systems, there's so much potential to combine the skills of robots and humans in ways that you know we might not even know right now. Um, and so instead of focusing on technology that kind of uh, you know, replicates what a human can do, we should be focusing on technology as a tool to enhance our capabilities. I, I find that a lot of people right now tend to either overestimate or underestimate what current technology is capable of. I mean, robots are still pretty dumb. They can't operate a fork, you know, they, they can't play soccer. We, uh, I, I always like to show some some videos of state-of-the-art technology to kind of set people's expectations. Uh, but we are starting to be able to harness robots and artificial intelligence to do specific tasks really, really well, which is fun. I know there's a lot of hype right now with these new technologies and everyone wants to integrate them in some way. And again, like I think there's a danger of overestimating what it can do and uh, maybe implementing things that Oh, aren't quite, you know, ideal for, for right now for education. Yeah, it's like a lot of the technology is still really dumb and doesn't work the way that, you know, we expect it to. So incorporating it in, in like small bites um, in, in ways that, again, in, enhance people can use it as, as a tool in some way that, that makes people's work easier is great. Mm -hmm.